Well, I'll we'll start off by telling us about your, your weekend up at the NFL Combine. Oh, me and A.J. Brown was uh, in Indianapolis this weekend for a symposium, just to kind of like, you know, inform us on the next level and uh, kind of bring back information for our teammates on uh, what to do, what not to do, you know, social media, um, just everyday life, you know, just getting better as a person, not just football. So it was a great weekend and learning information this weekend. Were you, were you guys able to watch some of that going on and kind of see what you're going to be going through? Um, we watched a little bit, you know. It was, uh, it was more surprising than I thought it would be. It's like a relaxed workout, you know. Everybody's calm. Um, all the guys cheering each other on. So it was uh, competitive, everybody working hard in the drills. It was fun to watch. Was there much talk about your game or was everything off the field like you're talking about? Off the field, you know, just, uh, it's more than football. It's uh, yeah. about off the field, agents, um, ways to keep your money, uh, ways to save your money, spend your money, um, just life stuff, you know, just being an adult, being a man in the next level. What do you want to accomplish here this spring? This spring, um, getting stronger, um, encouraging guys to be better than what they are right now, you know. Everybody gets complacent at times, you know, and uh, I'm just here to push everybody to be the best they can be. Given that you'll be draft eligible after this season, have you given that much thought at all? Uh, I mean, I'm a lot, I can't lie and say I haven't, but, you know, right now I'm just really focused on, you know, the team, uh, the old line, getting better as a person, getting better as a player, uh, getting everybody else around me better. And uh, after the season, when that time comes, and uh, when that time comes. So you're not going to declare like Ed Oliver did? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, when that time comes, that time comes. But right now, I'm just worried on these folks on these 12 games and uh, going 12 and 0. Greg, on Saturday, Coach Longo talked about the, the good feeling of coming out of the tunnel in, in regards to the coaching change and the NCAA mm -hmm. stuff and everything. Is there a sense amongst the players of, of that, too, that that's in the past now and you can concentrate on football? Um, that's in the past. We can focus on football. I mean, we always focus on football because of the NCAA was really – we couldn't determine what happened with that. So our thing was just focus on football, you know, try to control what we can, what we can, can control. My bad. Um, just every day, go out there getting better as a person, as a player, and uh, do what you can do to get better. There was a lot of talk. Is like once the sanctions came down and people started transferring, like, mm -hmm. is Great Willow going? Is he staying? What ultimately came down to the decision for you to stay? There was no decision. I was an old Miss Rebel all the whole time. Um, all those reports and rumors were just rumors. Um, I was never in Ann Arbor. I don't know how that came about, but you know, I'm committed to Coach Luke, committed to the team, and I love every one of these guys in the room. So. Anything else?